This is the Romney Marsh Wind Farm, which was built despite the objections of local residents. The government compulsorily purchased the land because they want to meet EU targets on renewable energies. The economics of this do not work. Each one of these turbines needs a taxpayer subsidy of £300,000 a year just to keep in existence. And of course the result is that it's going on your electricity bills. 14% of your bill this year is paying for projects like this. It's a blight on the landscape for a start. It's going into the national grid and we get our, all our electric from France. And they don't, uh, don't give jobs to people, local people. I, don't, I just don't see the point of them. <laughs> it's just a waste of, waste of money and a waste of time. Well, I think they're ugly things, and you've got Dungeness Power Station, and I believe that they should open that for jobs for the local people, because there's no jobs around there. You're a local resident. Was there a referendum on this? Did anybody ask your opinion? And now that it's been built, what do you think about this wind farm? Well, it, it's, a, it's not the sort of thing that I like to see because of the inefficiency. No, I was not asked about this. I do object that it's been just commandeered the land uh, against people's wishes. It is not what the people want. We want to go into energy that is going to sustain us for the future. There was a public inquiry which was held next door in the, in the town hall, but I don't think that the people were actually consulted that well. But if the wind's too strong, we have to turn them off anyway. Uh, they only, uh, I think it's about 25,000 houses they will run, uh, and they take up an awful lot of area. Our politicians have all been caught up with global warming hysteria. They all believe that CO2 emissions, man-made, will lead to massive rises in temperature. Now, in UKIP, we're a bit more sceptical than that. We would say the jury's out. There are many scientists that think that sunspot activity is perhaps a more important factor. But what we are absolutely certain of in UKIP is that these EU-inspired targets to build wind farm projects like this are simply not going to work. And I'll tell you why, because when we get a big, a big anti-cyclone over Northern Europe, like the one we had recently, we get fog, frost, we get snow, and of course we get no wind. So these things don't operate. They're only effective about 28% of the time. Now because of that, we have to have oil, gas, coal and nuclear stations to back all of this up. So even if we did want to reduce CO2 emissions, building wind farms isn't effective, it doesn't work from an environmental perspective, it doesn't work from an economic perspective, and we're planning to build another 10,000 of these between now and 2020. This whole thing is mad. To find out more about who we are and what we stand for, go to the UK Independence Party website at www.ukip.org.